Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Disc Creatures, a fun monster training game that is inspired by the Game Boy Color. Now I did do between the last episode, which was all grinding, and this episode I decided to do some more grinding. Another about a half an hour or so of grinding I did. And the reason I did that, I'd like to show a lot on there, but since we just had a lot of grinding, I figured I would do it off camera. And I also switched up my characters. I did have the skull tan there in the first spot. I chose to switch it out with the onion. I do not know if that's going to be a good decision or not. I chose the onion because like I've stated, I think the higher the number, the stronger the disc creature is, the base strength of disc creature is stronger. So onion is my, that those three are basically my highest number disc creatures. The Voltagamma is on page three, the Bacatron is on page four, and the onion is the last one that I have so far on page two. So basically all out what I can do. Through the leveling, we got Bracketron up to level 18 and Voltagamma Volta Gamma to 12. So hopefully the 13 to 15 people, disc creatures, enemies, whatever you want to call them inside this tunnel will not be much of a difficulty. However, I have no idea rock creatures or stone creatures or earth creatures might be strong against the types I have. I'm not sure. I will state again, I am very frustrated with the way the game makes you grind. The way it's set up is that when you get a new creature, you have to, it, it's at level one as opposed to typically when you capture the creature, it is at the level that it is. So it's a little frustrating that I have to go out and grind because the strength and weaknesses are a real thing here. Does cause problems down the line when you have a something that is strong against your types and you need to switch up so that it's strong against you are now strong against it but yeah you have to go from a level one and grind him all the way up which is a little bit frustrating but that's the way the game is and we're going to try to do the best we can with what we have i sent another like i said another half an hour or so grinding hopefully to get this ready and we will see we got a new item lead ray uh, that is my first damage C uh, attack, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the Electro Wave is another new one that we got, which is hits all enemies and can cause paralysis. And then my Onion, because he was like, I think level six when I first, well, he was obviously level one when I first got him, but I must have played with him a little bit down the line and I leveled him up from 6 to 11 there and he got all kinds of new moves and we'll go through them when we get him again. That went actually rather well. That is probably the best fight that I've had in here at bar none. It went fairly well for me. So we got teardrop which debuffs luck. We got artillery seeds which can hit one to three enemies. Ivory attack has been pretty staple so far. Basically, it's just a straight grass, grass attack. And we've had toxic spray before that has a spirit attack, but also can inflict toxic as well. So let's see how the ivory attack will do against rock types. I don't believe that metal attack. These are all three metal attacks are going to be very effective against a metal type. So we're going to do brush away and then I don't know rock or meadow if fire is good or bad against either one. Okay, so rock is strong against fire. 
So that is a good thing to know. I didn't catch the meta one. It's weak to grass. That's so it's strong against fire and weak to grass is strong against wind. So not ideal here with my attacks, but I think we are still doing pretty good. And I think, see if I use this, it's, I just don't think it's gonna be strong enough to go against the, the, I mean, it's uh, a metal attack is going to be weak against a metal attack or a metal creature. And that's the thing that's going to be, wow, devastating blow. I was wrong there. That actually, we might have to try that out a little bit more. My Volta Gamma leveled up, which is awesome. That's going to put me right in the sweet spot. It looks like be able to do a little bit better here. I'd be really happy about here. So far, 13 to 15. Hopefully we won't get much above that. Three is now going to be a difficulty to fight. I want to do, I'm gonna do ivory tack and I'm gonna do brush away or I could do metal scatter, which would be another good one. I'm gonna try, does, can cause the knockdown. If they knock down, that's actually a very good thing. So let's see if we could use brush away to get rid of some of them and do knock down and maybe paralysis. Hopefully we get some kind of ability worked out here is hopefully we can maybe no. So there's one that was weak and one that was strong. So electric is actually a bad type to use here, which is not beneficial, unfortunately. <laughs> and then brush away, I believe. Strong against wind, knocked him out. And I think that he's also strong against wind as well. So did not horrible there. Definitely could have done better, I believe. We're gonna try out the lead ray and hopefully it's going to do well against these guys strong against flame so he's strong against wind and flame i believe which is not really a good thing very devastating on what we have so he's paralyzed that's good he's weak to grass now what about this lead ray seems to be doing good here so far I'm not sure what to use here he isn't paralyzed right now so we're just gonna go through and fight the best we can. I think he got a new move, Volta Gamma got a new move in the last level up. So definitely would like to try that out or check that out here a little bit, but that 250 experience is definitely gonna help me out. I like that, definitely is good. And we are doing well, which I am very, super happy about this little tunnel area has uh, has given me a lot of trouble and i have ran into several of those and have not been prepared they have typically been much stronger than the enemies that have been in the area so we want to make sure that we are good and leveled before we go in there and have to fight the i want to try that electric wave again maybe metal might be susceptible they're weak to electric which is definitely going to help us but i'm hoping that if we can level up maybe one or two more hopefully maybe we will be ready for that maybe not level up i guess so to speak power and power stop that means i have to use a magic or a, what is a mind ability so let's try teardrop. I don't know if water metal might be weak to water. I mean, it kind of makes sense sometimes, but that electric knocked it out. Sometimes they're intuitive. Sometimes they're a little questionable. And so it's just sometimes it's hard to figure out what is weak and strong just by guessing. I would like to eventually go down and get that trainer down there. But again, I'm really worried about the power levels here. Oh man, let's, I'm definitely gonna try brush away or metal scatter, at least the rock. Let's try metal scatter that time and then electrowave. Hopefully 
paralysis can do something there. Good. One, at least one is paralyzed, and that's going to make a much, much help here. See what the metal does. Okay, it's strong against metal, strong against metal, knocked out. Okay, so metal attacks are not going to do very good. Although my fire guy, wow, he's weak to earth. I saw that. So we need to take out earth ones as quick as possible so that we don't. So we want to focus all our fight on this guy and get in so my voltatron is weak to earth type so we want to make sure that we get earth types out really quickly and that's something that i'm going to have to keep remembering although we're going up experience fairly well that's level 13 for him and i believe that's level 15 for my volta gamma i am not the 14 okay not too far off though we are definitely doing some good here. An Energen Silver, that's real well. Let's check out the move chamber real quick. There's another Poison. Hits all enemies. I think I'm gonna try that different from the sometimes. Hits all enemies can cause Toxic. So let's switch Toxic Spray out for Poison Wave. I think having that Toxic ability you know off the bat on all of them would be a good thing he didn't get any more let's see what uh, my guy here has uh what is this i could probably these lower ones if i have a disc i can get that ability if i give up a disc so if i choose this this skill can be learned in exchange for a gear get disc so if I give up my gear get disc, I can get that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I'm in this area that I probably will get another gear get disc. But let's see what it is. Maybe not something that's gonna be useful. It is panic causes, okay. So nothing I really would use in a normal, I guess setup I usually do so we'll just move on I guess that was a little bit unfortunate but oh there's a whole new one and it is a earth type oh I didn't even see that that is not good let's do poison let's try poison wave I'm gonna just go brush attack that's damage brush attack and then let's go all three attack all three now i don't know if that's necessarily a strike 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 a smart move but we'll see here there's my poison wave i'm hoping ah he's strong versus spirit okay so we've oh that's not too bad and my voltron did not get hit that's good so he should be pretty easy you know what let's use just my straight metal attack there because I don't really need to do an overall well he I think he was strong to electric if I remember correctly he's going down no matter what I use with that little bit of health and an E charge I figured he is going to go down pretty easy I got two mine more discs that's good let's see what this guy is come on I want to I want to battle you and then we might oh a couple mine wars we should let's just do that straight up all out attack because i think that worked well because we have a chance of paralysis we have a chance of knockdown and then we have a chance of toxic three right off the bat that's going to possibly do something to them to either hurt them more or delay their ability to attack and i don't know if that's necessarily a good start off but we're going to try that as our start offs and see if that is working for us it seems to be i am going to wait oh oh sweet i've never seen that happen that a disc falls from defeating all the, i got a piece of equipment a disc recorder i don't even know what that does 
can I see what it? What is a disk recall? Oh, activates the same effect as high speed memory on all targets at the start of a battle. So it's a charm. Ooh, interesting. I like that, but I'm not sure I want to give up my charms I have currently. Although, what charms do I have? A scope, a shock. Oh, he doesn't even have one. So let's throw that in there. <laughs> if he doesn't have one, might as well get it and get it used. I think we're going to go over and try that. Yeah, try that disc R over there. I really would like to see what we can do with him and see if we can do well about getting him out of the way. We seem to be doing pretty good here with these guys as long as he doesn't, the earth guy does not hit my my fire guy, I just, it vol, Volta Gamma, that's what it was. It totally just blew out of my mind. But as soon as, as he doesn't hit my Volta Gamma, we should be okay. Let's just go ahead and do, yeah, I guess. I'm not sure if that electric ball is going to do, be strong against the Umi Bat or not. But we should be able to get a few of these guys, hopefully. Brush away, if that, is going to work. Acquired a gear get desk. They, I'm happy with that. I will take another gear get desk because I, I just gave mine up. <laughs> okay, let's try and see. Well, this is gonna have to be this battle here probably. Oh, two of them. Not really happy about that, but I think that we can with a little bit of they are wind and I don't know if the metal scatter will be stronger or the will the metal scatter be stronger or the wind and that's I I don't remember what is weak and strong against those or not so they're strong against electric but still seem to take pretty good damage from it Hey, there we go, strong good spirit. Okay, well, we're not too bad. There's a metal scatter coming through. Weak to metal. He's knocked out, so the other, okay. So we're overall didn't do too bad. I think that worked out well for us for our first move. If we could knock out one in our first move, I'd be really happy. Let's just start off there. That's a bonus, to be honest. The way it has been playing out, for me in this cave area is that I was having a heck of a lot of trouble with this. I think we are pretty good. We are a little low on, which I don't think, I did get some just straight energy. So let's go ahead and heal two I'm not gonna worry about, but let's go ahead and, and heal those guys up. That's kind of why I grabbed those few energens as well, is so that I can be prepared for moments like this where I not have a real low health, but I really want to be full health for the battle. Rare creatures, but no luck so far, but we are going to do. Let's see what he has. He has two earths, which is very bad, and a metal. Those two Earths are going to be very bad on my Volta Gamma. So hopefully, let's try the Poison Wave, the Metal Scatter. Yeah, and just do this Electric Wave and see what it goes. I don't think the Metal is going to be strong. No, the... Okay, so the, the Metal was weak to Electric, I believe. There's my poison coming across. He dived out of the way. Oh, so frustrating. The Miamek has still not got hit yet, unfortunately. Oh, there we go, we got hit. See, that seems, that one, two, three there of hitting all of them seems to be doing extremely well for me. And then we'll just go on to our standard regular attacks here. 
Electric and the Burning Claws are probably going to switch depending on what I think is going to do more damage. I'm not sure which is going to do in certain circumstances, so we'll have to figure the 497 experience. Woohoo! That's awesome. Onion leveled up from 13 to 14. I thought he might go up higher than that, but he just, I think, just turned over 13, and now he's 14, so that... That worked out real good. Stamina. And... Let's see. These guys just be, seem to be informational people. There is a Pimpano Magma Vein below this in tunnel air. Me, oh, not one for hot heat, though. Okay. I'm not sure that was English, but okay. <laughs> not. Oh, yeah, I got 10 Pico. Sweet. I think what we're going to do here is maybe do a couple more battles. That Jag. Ooh. That's a level 18. Oh, snap. I am a little worried out now with that uh, level 18 and it's a rock type, not a ground type. And I think it was the ground type that was strong to Volt, uh, Volt Gamma. Volt Gamma, something like that. Okay, so, yep. That seems to be really right on awesome a jag and a mine roar so this is definitely seems to be a nice one two three punch here and finally pushing our way a little bit through this tunnel this has been and again i'm a little confused because most of the area up to the last boss which was the scarecrow was like in the eight nine ten range and then I come here and we're in the 13 to 15 range. And that's a big difference in my opinion. And I believe that's why it was a little bit of difficulty trying to go through here and deal with these is because it was just a little bit of a jump. Not only it was a little bit of a jump, but I also switched characters. It maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if I would have kept my characters, but that's what happened. I don't know if the, with all these rock and metal types, I very seriously doubt my Battelle would have done very well in here, especially with that Bloodsucker. I don't feel that it would have been strong in this area. So overall, in the end, I believe I'm happy that I changed it, but it is definitely made me work for it, basically. I had to go and grind other characters up so that we can bring these other ones in and he's just flown up there which is very nice he learned a new move sweet let's see what we have we can probably do a few more battles here before time is up and see what we got another couple of couple of earth types and we were ambushed and that's not good because if they get a chance to hit that Volta Gamma with some of those earth attacks it might do a lot of damage but they didn't which is very it makes me very happy uh, let's see again metal scatter or brush away they both basically do the same thing although brush away does have a chance for knockdown so I don't know if that's good or bad but we're just going to go with metal for now, I think we're doing pretty good. Wow, that gear net went down in, in no problem at all. I do not believe that poison wave has ever caused toxic. And I wonder if it's because that the toxic is because it's hitting all three of them. If it has like less of a chance to hit all of them does that make sense so each each instance of the toxic hit is less because it's hitting all of them i think i'm not 100 percent sure about that but typically there is less of a chance less damage from a single hit to everybody hit and i'm going to assume on that that if it has a chance to do something like knock down or toxic that the chance is going to go down from a 
one to an all hit. Let's heal up, peek into the next area, and I think that would be a very good place to stop for the this episode. I do want to talk to this guy. I got this bed of your mind real weird type. You see, he's hiding out deep in the jungle and woods working on something. Interesting. I'm curious as to what that would be. Are we in a new piece to port like them town now is there more yeah there's more baddies there so i think we're going to stop here for the episode make our way into peace to port in the next episode thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all next time bye everybody